Yo, hey, what's up, guys? Another Dragon Wolf video. Um, this is a video for a mod update. I just wanted to let you guys know you haven't seen me in the game, but I have been hard at work on this mod. Um, besides for our enjoyment, FYI, the other reason why I'm getting into modding is in my school I've gotten far enough in coding classes that I feel like I can start tackling this kind of stuff. And one of my teachers suggested, um, two of the class actually, that if we play games and then we mod it, we can keep those mods set to the side as something to use for our portfolio even though we might get into another part of the industry it might not be gaming at all having these kind of things in our portfolio helps so I said hey why not right so with that said I do want to show you guys the mod and the state of the mod so far um, I've worked I've been hard at work on it in the past several weeks um, just pretty much mostly it's learning the UE4 engine as well as um, getting the uh, 3D modeling program learned um, but now that I've done that, I've done it a few times, I feel pretty comfortable uh, with what I've been doing, learning a lot from the UE4 editor. Um, that said, what I have done now is night vision and the buff, and as well as the model and all that for the helm, which I'm going to show you guys now. Yes, you do have to go through this each and every time. There's some kind of bug. I can't just give it a unique ID and say, hey, give me the item. It doesn't, it, for some reason, it doesn't work well that way, so you always have to go through it. Um, second thing is, it does take level 75. Okay, um, level 75 is the minimum required to require uh, minimum crafting level for this item. Alright. So one of the goals I had was to make night vision to work for night and day. Um, I have been able to test it to make sure it works for day, however, I have not been able to see if it works for night. The reason being is I'm still kind of new to the UE4 editor, and using the set time of day uh, doesn't work. And so I need to find a way to make my test map come up at night time, so I can actually test the uh, night time. Um, I can adjust it from there, but again, I want it to be usable for the day. So that's what you're going to see here when I turn on. When you actually wear the helmet and the night vision mode comes up, you're going to see that it's still daytime mode, but it's actually still working. So that's what I want. So I want it to work for the day. So as I mentioned in the post, I've got a chance to see that already. That is um, I am, the last thing I'm trying to do before I actually look and upload this mod is to have a little UI widget in this little lower corner here. So that it'll come up with actors that are within range, a certain range of the triggers here, or inside the triggers here, I should say. Um, specifically, the actors is going to look for our dinosaurs and other players, and it'll list, it'll make a list of what's nearby, enemy players, and tribe players. You know, I want to have different colors if I can to help distinguish. But more importantly, it'll have player steam IDs too, so you won't even have to be looking at them in the looking glass to get their names. I mean, we're in the tactic moment. The goal is that if they're within your trigger sphere, their game is seeing my knees and they will be coming up again in this lower left corner. That's the last thing I'm working on. Alright, so let's take a look. Okay, come over here. Tag the Bahamut. Boom! So, first of all, notice how it said powering up. Yeah, I just added little stuff like that for fun. Um, all the scan lines and everything, guys, I made this. I had to make this new E4 code. Uh, I was pretty proud of myself. I kind I liked the way it looked. It's supposed to be a little scratchy, a little bit of scan lines with the, the brokenness on the left half there. Now, the reason why that's there is I'm using the Nedry glasses, and if you could see that, look, they're cracked, right? They're cracked on the left side. So why not have a little bit of the jubbly do on the left side there, right? Right? Anyway, now that I've got that done, you're seeing pretty much the mod for what it is right now. Again, I worked on that model for the helmet. Now uh, that's all my texturing model. I used the miner's helmet and the Nedry glasses and combined them in such a way and edited them a little bit to boom, get this. Um, another thing I actually have on here, the glasses are toggleable. However, since there's no really toggle function at the moment, I'm not having them implemented. But I made an animation to where they flip up when you're not using it, and they flip back down when you are. Uh, currently, though, I can't use that because there's no there's no reason to. I could probably get it to work. It would just be more extra useless work at this point. But I just thought I'd throw that in there. 
Well, that said, here's the mod. I'd like any feedback, any suggestions, as well as um, maybe even future ideas of other mods I could be working on.